Greetings and welcome to Newsim TV. I am Makanaka Masengama. Stories making the headlines. Fuel prices shoot up 50%. Domino effect on basic commodities expected. In the courts, state withholds post mortem report of top CIO and 2017 coup victim widow prize foul. In sports, cheaters set for busy schedule ahead of Olympic qualifiers. Now the news in greater detail. The Zimbabwe Energy Regulatory Authority Tuesday afternoon was forced into a climb down to market forces agreeing to an increase of more than 50% in the price of fuel. Zera had late Monday declared the prices would remain the same despite the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe announcing it would no longer subsidize the precious commodity with oil companies now expected to source on foreign currency from the interbank market. Motorists who spoke to New Zim TV commented on the fuel price hike. And in four, three days, and Richard got fuel, it was okay, but fuel it wouldn't. At one point, you know, one up, but you can just for some seconds, once you did it, were thirty dollars. Can out to do hundred dollars, but net distance, you know, farm by in Indonesia. Is as easy, but put our new fuel. As makes sense. The good thing is, you can't do it. It's much better than what you can do with the fuel. You can do it with the fuel, but you can do it with the fuel, but you can do it with the was <laughs> A one hundred and fifty fuel price increase in January announced by President Emerson Mnangagwa triggered violent protests across the country that left at least seventeen people dead and scores injured after government deployed the army, leading to the use of live ammunition. Meanwhile, government has announced a reduction in the duty of fuel in what Finance Secretary George Gormatanga said was meant to cushion the public. Duty on petrol has dropped from $2.30 to $1.15 per litre, while government will now get 90 cents down from $2.05 from a litre of diesel. Information Minister Monica Mchangwa added that cabinet was consistently seized with the matter and seeking solutions to the crisis. Cabinet is very much seized with the critical problems which are out there in terms of energy shortages. We are having a at the moment. There are also queues for fuel. And this is an issue which is discussed at each and every cabinet. Strategies have been put into place and time will be coming when we'll be giving you back the strategies. But a lot of work and uh, a lot of debate has been going on. This is an issue which gets debated each and every cabinet because it affects our people. Opposition MDC leader Nelson Chamisa told party supporters over the weekend in Chiredzi that sanctions and ZANU-PF must go. Chamisa said President Emerson Mnangagwa ZANU-PF and the sanctions imposed on the country by the U.S. and its allies are twin evils that must go together. He was addressing party supporters at a thank you rally in Chiredzi at the weekend. Yes, sanctions and ZANU PF must go because it might wins. Zinofamba Zose. Commenting on Munangagwa's international engagement, Chamisa said the international community must measure the ZANU PF leader's performance on the human rights scorecard. In the courts, the widow of a senior central intelligence organization operative, Peter Munetzi, who died in military detention during the November 2017 coup that toppled former President Robert Mugabe, he has approached the High Court seeking to compel the police to immediately release post-mortem results that ascertain the cause of her husband's death. Munetze's wife, Rosie, is demanding the release 
in order to allow her to process her husband's estate as well as help her sue the government for Munetzi's death. It has been previously reported that Munetzi died during interrogation by the military after being seized at the height of the coup. I joined Diaspora Funeral Police when my father passed away. Without them, I don't know where I could have started with all the things I covered for the, for the funeral. For me, to be honest, Diaspora Cash Plan, it was very easy, good transaction. It was only a matter of phone call. Then they said they would do everything, the rest. To be honest, by end of the day, I got the settlement. In sports, the Zimbabwe Rugby Union has announced a busy schedule for the National 7 Rugby side, the Cheetahs, ahead of a busy season in which they are targeting to qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. After qualifying for the World Cup in the United States and being crowned African champions last year, Zimbabwe's cheaters have set the retention of the Africa Cup and securing qualification for the 2020 Olympics as their main target during this year. This year's Africa Cup 7th tournament, which will double as the qualifier for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, will be held from November 8 to 9 in Johannesburg, South Africa. To end this news bulletin, here is a recap of headlines once more. Fuel prices shoot up 50%, a domino effect on basic commodities expected. And the courts state withholds post-mortem reports of top CIO and 2017 coup victim, Owido Cries Foul, and sports cheetahs set for busy schedule ahead of Olympic qualifiers. Reporting for New Zimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For this and more stories, to visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Newsm TV.